Good morning from the International Space Station Flight Control Room at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. I'm NASA's Sandra Jones, and today's operation is to guide in the unpiloted Progress 81 cargo ship that launched from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan just hours ago. That launch took place at 4.32 a.m. Central with nearly three tons of food, fuel, and supplies on board. Progress has been making its way to its journey to the seven residents of the International Space Station ever since. Here in Mission Control Houston, the Orbit 1 team of flight controllers are on duty and being led by Flight Director Rick Henfling. The team is working in tandem with their Russian counterparts halfway across the world at the Russian Mission Control Center in the town of Koryov outside Moscow. Progress 81 blasted off from Site 31 at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, powered by the Soyuz 2.1A boosters. Again, that liftoff occurred at 4.32 a.m. Central Time. Following liftoff, all engines fired as expected during the first stage, and the strap-on boosters performed as expected as well, and the vehicle was reported to be in great shape for the climb uphill from the launch controllers at the blockhouse in Baikonur. A little over eight minutes into the flight after launch, this third stage did shut down, which placed progress into its preliminary orbit. It's been a smooth and expected journey to the International Space Station ever since, with just a quick two-orbit rendezvous. Looking ahead at some of the milestones we can expect to see this morning, Progress will conduct a fly around when at a range of about 400 meters away from the International Space Station. That, that fly around helps to precisely align the forward docking probe on Progress with the Svezda module's docking port. Following that, there will be a brief period of state station keeping to allow flight controllers to access the precise alignment of the progress with Zvezda. And then the initiation for the final approach for docking will be conducted. Docking is slated to occur this morning at 8.02 a.m. Central after a quick two-orbit rendezvous from Earth to the International Space Station. Так, выдали команду в высоту, на высоте, проконтролировали подгон ТТС есть, кого дубцы есть, включили линию связи 3, включили передачу, включаем по ББС. Принес. And as progress continues to close in on the International Space Station with nearly three tons of food, fuel, and supplies on board for the crew on the International Space Station, let's look at the Expedition 67 crew that is currently on board. 
On board are NASA astronauts Bob Hines, European Space Agency astronaut Samantha Christopheretti, as well as Russian cosmonauts Denis Matviev and Oleg Artemyev, who is the current space station commander, and Sergei Korsakov. Also on board are NASA astronauts Jessica Watkins and Chell Lindgren. Oleg Artemyev and Denise Matviev will be monitoring today's arrival and docking of progress. меньше семи километров девять на сближение вас понял сопарку экипажем кс гайдин по приложениям Отвечаем, Узгадин. Минуточку, Денис. Экипаж МКС Супа Москвы в канале СГ-1 для Дениса. Денис, можешь включать запись. We're now less than 40 minutes from the planned docking of 81, of Progress 81. That docking is slated to occur at 8.03 a.m. Central Time this morning. Coming up here in about 10 minutes, the flight controllers here in the International Space Station flight control room will complete a go-no-go no -go poll for today's docking.
Meanwhile, on board the International Space Station, Russian cosmonauts Oleg Artemyev and Denis Matviev are inside the Svezda service module at a workstation equipped with a joystick called the Taru system. That's the telerobotic operated system, and that can be used in the highly unlikely event that a failure would occur to the core's automated rendezvous system. Прошли 4 километра, 8 два движения. Принял, отлично. Угловые размеры станции примерно две клетки. And the size of the station for the overlay grid is about two squares. Copy. Three decimal five kilometers, eight decimal zero five range rate. I copy you. And we are starting to get some of our first views of Progress 81 as it closes in on the International Space Station. It is that small dot you see on the upper left of your screen there. We will continue to see it grow larger and larger as it narrows in ahead of docking scheduled at 8.03 a.m. Central Time. Past three kilometer mark. Uh, 
and um, closing rate is seven decimal seven. Today's docking comes just two days after another Progress vehicle left the International Space Station. The ISS Progress 79 vehicle departed the space station earlier this week on Wednesday. It was filled with trash, and the unpiloted Progress 79 cargo craft burned up harmlessly in the Earth's atmosphere over the Pacific Ocean. The station is moving down and left. And with this view, we can see the solar arrays that are currently deployed on progress. Continuing to close in on the International Space Station, now nearing about 10 minutes from the beginning of the fly around maneuver that will align the dock docking probe of progress with the Svezda docking compartment. The burn is complete. Copy. Once progress does link up to the Svezda service module of the space station, go to there will be a period of a few minutes where the relative motion between the two vehicles will dampen out. Then the forward probe will begin to retract and pull progress in tight with the docking port interface to allow hooks to close to form a hard mate between the two vehicles. Following that, there will be a period of leak checks by Artemiev and Matviev on the Russian side of the space station to ensure there is an airtight seal between the docking interface and the Svezda service module before the hatch on progress can be opened, which will allow the cosmonauts to begin unloading some of the more time-critical cargo on board. All right, starting the Toro test, um, activating power, uh, power's on, LEDs are on, uh, the hand controllers are powered up, LEDs confirm, uh, activating uh, BPS initial control panel, and the LEDs confirm. Uh, first uh, rotational hand controller test in work. Copy. To the right. All LEDs are on. Uh, to the left. All LEDs are on. RHC up. RHC 
RHC down. Clockwise. Uh, RHC counterclockwise. RHC test is complete. Uh, all nominal. Copy. Next is THC test. THC to the left. To the right. Going up. And going down. Pulling uh, THC towards myself, uh, which is uh, a retrograde motion, and away from myself, which is a posigrade motion. All was nominal. Uh, hand controller test is uh, successful. Switching uh, to uh, BPS initial uh, control panel. On and BPS initial is on, confirmed by LED status. Uh, the THC and RHC tests are successful. Copy. Next, uh, activating operational mode for step 4.3 in the Toro book. AGC mode is on. The image is a little blurry. Okay, you can switch between the different modes to select uh, the view that is um, preferable to you. Uh, we're going to keep uh, the first uh, mode for the AGC uh, moding. And that completes uh, the Toru test. Toru is now in the hot backup. Copy. Switching to page 22 in the Toru book. And that call from the interpreter from Russian flight controllers in Koryov signals the activation as planned of the TORU, the backup control system, or the telerobotic rendezvous operated system that is now on standby in the unlikely event that a problem would occur in the core's automated docking system in the final phase of this approach for docking. We're just about two minutes away from the beginning of the fly around maneuver. Guided by the core system, this will allow progress to continue its automated fly around of the International Space Station, which aligns itself with the Zvezda module of the International Space Station. And we are in a brief expected handover between our satellites, but we'll regain communications and video here shortly. Initiating fly around. Copy, standing by. And we are hearing that the fly around has begun.
about 400 meters now separating progress from the International Space Station. Progress completes the fly around at a very precise angle to align the forward end of Progress and its docking probe with the Svezda docking compartment. One point four uh, is the range rate. Copy. That's great. And in this view on the left of your screen, you can see the super flex solar arrays of the Cygnus, the Northrop Grumman Cygnus 17 vehicle. And on the upper right, you can see progress as it continues to get closer to the International Space Station. 400 meter mark. Docking just about 20 minutes from now. Yes, automatic fly around is uh, ongoing. So, yes, I can see that as well. This is Oleg. And we are starting to get views from the Progress vehicle as it closes in to the International Space Station. Three hundred meters, a point uh, decimal seven is the uh, closing rate. Copy. And this view from the external engineer overlay camera on the outside of the progress showing the data being evaluated by the Russian flight controllers at the Russian Mission Control Center outside of Moscow. In the lower left-hand quadrant of this view, you can see the descending number, which is the distance between progress and the International Space Station. Uh, on the screen, copy. And the number just below that is the rate of closure by the progress in meters per second, which is how quickly it is approaching the International Space Station. On the big diameter, uh, so it's one square, uh, the dimensions on the overlay grid, copy. A point 0.4 is the closing rate.
and we are coming up on a very brief period of station keeping here in about five minutes where the progress will seize its forward motion and await final approval from the Russian flight controllers before the command is sent for final approach and docking. Progress and the International Space Station flying 262 statute miles over northern Kazakhstan. Very clearly, as well as the target. Copy. And hearing good words about the fly around, everything proceeded as expected. Now less than 220 meters separating progress from the International Space Station. So uh, the, uh, the range is about 200 meters and uh, uh, the vehicle is on the axis of on the docking port. Copy that. Station keeping set to begin about two and a half minutes from now. I have the flag of final approach. Copy that. And progress is in the process of rotating itself so that its solar arrays are in the right orientation angularly for final approach to docking to Zvezda. The dimensions are uh, about 1.3 uh, squares on the big diameter. Copy. And you see some small firings of the engines there to help orient progress in the right orientation for docking. So the roll maneuver uh, is, is ongoing. Copy. We are observing that as well. So I don't have any image right now. It uh, went away. On the laptop, it is 190 meters, and the closing rate is 0 0.7. Copy, Alec. Station Moscow, are you receiving the video? Yes, it reappeared. And it is stable right now. Uh, 
and uh, it is 187 meters on the laptop, and uh, it is station keeping mode about 0 0.02, uh, the closing rate. Copy. And station keeping has begun. Okay, so uh, the roll maneuver uh, is complete. So you can send Prichal final approach command, also BPS initial, and uh, on the display 44, and also please send operation command. Copy. So I am sending BPS initial. It is sent. I am activating operation or Rabota. The command is sent, and uh, I'm at uh, display number 44. Uh, now I have uh, approach, approach, uh, Prichal, Prichal, confirmed, great. Uh, could you please confirm that uh, Rabota operation is on? Yes, it is on. And with everyone pleased with what they are seeing in Korea, final approach has begun. Copy, Alec. So it is unintelligible. So the dimensions are about um, a, a square and a half. So on the laptop screen, uh, the uh, range is 155 meters, and the closing rate is 0.8. Copy. Great. Progress continuing to close in on the International Space Station. Now less than 150 meters separating the two. Now we are still receiving it. And uh, uh, the range is 130 meters right now. 0.7 is the range rate. Copy. And we are less than 10 minutes away from contact and capture. So the dimensions are two squares. 115 meters is the range. 0 0.5, 0 0.6 is the range rate, and it is decreasing. Yeah. Copy. One hundred meters mark uh, has been passed. Uh, 0.5 uh, is the range rate. Copy. Final approach continuing as planned. So the 2.55 uh, squares is a dimension uh, 89 meters uh, is the range and 0.4 uh, is the range rate. Copy. Progress closing in at a rate of 0.4 meters per second. So it's about the three squares, the dimensions on the grid, and uh, the range mm -hmm. is 75 meters. Uh, on the laptop, it is 77, and uh, the closing rate is 0.35. Everything is nominal. Copy. One square uh, dimensions. Uh, so the uh, range is 69 on the laptop, everything is matching, and less than 0.3 is the closing rate. So the orbital night will be at 12.58, uh, that's the start uh, of the eclipse. Okay, 12.58 uh, is the time of the eclipse, copy.
progress, continuing to get closer to the International Space Station. We're now less than seven minutes away from docking. So the dimensions are 1.5 uh, squares, and uh, the range is 45 meters, 50 on the laptop. Uh, as a reminder, at the distance of uh, the range 30 meters, you will have to send the command, uh, PPS initial and operation, and also uh, the uh, uh, the breakout enabled command. Okay, copy that, will do. Progress continuing to close in towards this FESDA service module. Everything's still looking good for an on-time docking, now less than six minutes away from that docking occurring. So the range rate uh, is inaudible and uh, there is a diversion, uh, a bit of it. Okay, copy. And we are in a brief handover between our satellites, but we'll regain video here shortly. I can see that uh, the vehicle is in uh, the 30 meter uh, range, uh, but laptop uh, actually shows 33, but I am ready to send the command. Uh, yes, please uh, do the visual evaluation of the range. Copy. So I have sent BPS initial command, also the Rabota command is sent operation, and also I have sent breakout enabled what resolution command. The eclipse has started. Uh, should I activate uh, the uh, headlight? No, you can use the AGC command because the headlight was activated automatically. Copy. Three squares are dimensions. Uh, the range rate is about 20 meters, and the same shows on the laptop. It matches this time. 20 meters, copy. About 20 meters separating progress from the International Space Station. One square, the range is about 18 meters, the 18 meters uh, mark has been passed. Okay, so uh, the, the flag of uh, the unintelligible uh, is confirmed. So there is misalignment on roll. Copy, we are uh, seeing that too. Now the roll uh, is correct. There is no misalignment. Uh, great news. Coming up on docking here shortly, progress continuing to close in at about one-tenth a meter per second. Mark has been passed, and uh, the dimensions are about 1.5 meters, uh, 1.5 and uh, uh, squares and the closing rate uh, is safe, copy. 
uh, just a, a little roll misalignment is observed. Yes, we can see that uh, it's not a big misalignment. Two squares are dimensions on the target. The uh, range is about six or seven meters. Copy. So the crosshairs are moving a little bit to the right and upwards. One square to the right and uh, uh, one fourth of the squares uh, upwards. Copy. The closing uh, rate is safe. So three squares on the grid. Copy. All the crosshairs are aligned now. Unintelligible. Copy. Contact. Contact is, con uh, is expected. We are standing by for the con contact, and the closing rate is safe. Uh, crosshairs are aligned. We heard the contact. Copy. The headlight is off now. And we do have contact confirmed as well as capture confirmed, all done by the Corps' automated system. That docking was confirmed at 8.02 a.m. Central Time, east of Manila. After the uh, me mechanical uh, contact, uh, please wait and monitor for the closing operations. Copy. And the docking probe is now driving. Once again, docking occurring at 8.02 a.m. Central Time, 9.02 a.m. Eastern Time, east of Manila. The docking occurring via the Corps automated docking system all went smoothly after a launch that began just hours ago from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan at 4.32 a.m. Central Time. And once the docking probe retracts, that will initiate the closing of the hooks that will form a hard mate between the two vehicles. And if you're just joining us, we had a successful docking of the unpiloted Progress cargo vehicle to the International Space Station, that docking occurring at 8.02 a.m. Central Time, 9.02 a.m. Eastern Time. Progress launched from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan just hours ago at 4.32 a.m. Central Time.
During docking aboard the International Space Station, Russian cosmonauts Oleg Artemyev and Denis Matviev were inside the Zvezda service module. They were standing by uh, at a workstation equipped with a joystick called the Taru system, which is the telerobotic operated system. That system can be used in the unlikely event that a failure would occur to the core's automated rendezvous system, but that was not necessary today, docking occurring as expected using the core's automated rendezvous system, and all went smoothly. And we are standing by for a confirmation that the hooks are closed. That is expected about 10 minutes from now. And we did just get confirmation that the hooks are closed. And with the hooks closed, we do have a hard mate and a good mate between Progress and the International Space Station. Station Moscow on space to ground one for Oleg. Go ahead. Oleg, uh, are you ready to reconfigure the comm to initial? We uh, did not do anything. We are standing by for your command. I just asked you whether you are ready to do the reconfig of COM. Yeah, we are always ready. And with that confirmation that the hooks are closed and we have a hard mate and a good mate between Progress and the International Space Station. Its journey now complete with nearly three tons of food, fuel, and supplies having been delivered to the International Space Station. The hatch will be opened by Russian cosmonauts Oleg Artemyev and Denis Matviev later on, and they will begin to unload the cargo that has been delivered. And to recap, the journey of the Progress 81 cargo craft began with liftoff from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan off of Launchpad 31 at 4.32 a.m. Central Time earlier today. Progress successfully completed a quick two-orbit rendezvous, and all burns were completed with no issues. The unpiloted Progress vehicle arrived to the International Space Station and linked up to the Zvezda module at 8.02 a.m. Central Time. With the hooks now closed and a hard mate having been confirmed, leak checks will be conducted over the next couple of hours by Artemyev and Matviev to ensure there is an airtight seal to open the hatch. But with that, it will wrap up our coverage for today. Thanks so much for joining us. This is Mission Control Houston.